Are you staring at your smartphone just wondering what you should text to a woman? Don't fret. In this video, Doc is going to give you some coaching that he normally wouldn't. Stay tuned. Doc conducted thousands of interviews with women for his book, The System Slash Dating Dictionary, asking them why they choose one man versus another. That wisdom appears on this channel weekly. Subscribe if you don't want to miss Doc's gold dust. Tim wants to know what to say to a woman over text, and Doc coaches him on the right approach and is actually going to encourage Tim to violate one of his rules because of the situation Tim is in. You'll hear me reading this, but this is 100% Doc. Hey, Doc, I just read the system after a bad breakup, and let me tell you, I was nodding my head the entire time. Anyway, my question is in regard to the fact that almost no one talks on the phone anymore. Most recently, Gwyneth gave me her number after I messaged her once on a dating website. I waited 10 days to contact her. Maybe I misplayed this one, but I texted her instead of phoned to go out for a drink, which she agreed to. I met her at the bar, and I feel as though I carried myself quite well. I was neatly put together, kept eye contact, asked her a lot of questions. We had some good mutual conversation, and I made sure and answered the question she asked me with confidence, but... With a degree of vagueness, she gave me good signals, playing with her hair, laughing a lot, asking me personal questions. I dropped her off with a hug that she initiated, and without making any plans, I bid her farewell. I decided to stick to the system and not text her the next day, even though I wanted to. Sure enough, the next night, she texted me, thanking me for the drink, and she said she had a great time and to let her know if I'd like to get together again. And she also apologized for jumping out of the car so quickly because she was nervous. To keep her laughing, I replied with, my pleasure. So you mean you didn't have to pee really badly? She asked me what I was up to on the weekend, and there I was, caught in a texting conversation, which happens so commonly in today's world, and also... That doomed me with the last girl I dated. I didn't want to be rude and not respond to her questions because she could tell that I read her text, but I wanted to keep challenge going, show self-control, and not text with her every couple of hours. I know correspondence, text, or phone calls should only be used to set up the next date, but how do I react to a girl who keeps texting me and asking me questions. Should I just not respond, even though she can see that I've read them? Also, because I've texted her a few times now, is it too late to change the pattern? Tim, who feels trapped by technology. Hi, Tim. First of all, if a girl is comfortable with it, texting can indeed replace the telephone as a means of communication. Texting, per se, isn't the problem. Now, let me compliment you on how you handled yourself on the first date with Gwyneth. You did everything right, Tim. In fact, you were perfect. And it's great that you didn't talk about the future. The way you handled the date is why Gwyneth got back in touch with you so quickly to do it again. But let me ask you this. Why did you really want to text Gwyneth the very next day? This is a question you have to ask yourself. You have to make yourself more of a challenge, pal. You must get rid of the desire to be an open book for ladies, which slays challenge right out of the gate. And you have to be careful with the bathroom humor. If you're dating an ultra-conservative girl, she might not be into you talking about off-color subjects. What you said was a borderline joke, and it might not go over the way you wanted it to. Now, if Gwyneth is your girlfriend after six months, and you know her well, and you're buddy-buddy with her, it might be a different story. But you don't know her, so you're better advised to walk the straight and narrow in the beginning. You don't want a crude, off-handed remark to turn her off. Doc answers Tim's question about how to answer her questions on text without turning her off along with what rule he thinks Tim needs to throw out the window here. That's coming up. But before we get to that, check out Doc's The System slash Dating Dictionary. This is the book where Doc did the legwork for you so you didn't have to of interviewing thousands of women asking them this key question. Why do you choose one man versus another? What Doc learned from women is now taught to you as long as you get that book. You can check out the link in the description below to receive a discount on the book that's literally changed thousands of lives around the world. And if you're enjoying this video, now's the time to drop a like. 
All right. How can Tim keep her interest level high without being welded to his phone in an endless text conversation? Doc has the answer. Instead of getting bogged down in a texting conversation with Gwyneth, you should have said, this weekend I'm tied up, but we'll see each other again. Now, in one sense, you're talking about the future when you say something like this, which is against the rules of the system slash dating dictionary. But what you're really doing here is buying time because what you want to do is wean Gwyneth off the habit of texting you. It would be rude not to respond to Gwyneth's text questions. Anytime someone leaves you a message by email or text or whatever, you have to answer. But like I said, what you want to do is stall for time. So here's how to respond to Gwyneth when she texts you. I had a great time too. And let it go at that. How do you react to a girl who keeps texting you and asking questions? You just say this. It's so much more fun to do all of our talking face to face. If she texts you again, repeat the message. I much prefer doing all this communicating face to face. Keep saying it until Gwyneth gets the message and stops texting you all the time. Again, you are obligated to respond, but thanks, looking forward to seeing you again is sufficient. Keep it short and sweet and don't ask her out. No, it's not too late to change Gwyneth's texting pattern because you haven't done it all that much with her. Remember, guys, since texting kills challenge, use it only to get the date. You'll learn how to stand out to women via text and, more important, in real life on the dates if you internalize the book that changed thousands of lives around the world, The System slash Dating Dictionary. And you can take 10% off since you are smart enough to watch this video. By the way, if you aren't quite ready to buy, why don't you check out our other free goodies below, such as a free seven-day dating course taken directly from The System slash Dating Dictionary. And why don't you also enter for a chance to win in Doc's Month monthly contest we give away nearly five hundred dollars of doc's books every month so do you have a game plan now for what to say to women over text do you agree or disagree with doc's coaching did this video help you let us know by leaving a comment down below we want to hear what you think your comments will help inspire us to create more videos for you so chime in thanks for watching the video be sure to like and share it until next time Oh, 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 oh,